National Farns Worth on Fringe. And I'm here at the Denver Comic Con, which is really exciting for me because um, I started doing Comic Cons with the show about four years ago when we started, and now I'm selling my own artwork here at the Comic Cons, which is really exciting. So I've got uh, pictures from the show, and I've also got stuff that I've done that's in my arsenal of you know drawings that I've done over the past several years. And um, so this is, what are we, we are in June right now, and in July we're going to start filming the fifth season of Fringe, and it's going to be a shorter season, which I know a lot of fans are not happy about, but it does allow us the luxury of completing the show, giving some closure, um, Astrid and Walter maybe getting married or something. I think it's going to be a really lovely <laughs> love story, not just between Peter and Olivia, but between Astrid and Walter too. Um, what else should I talk about? So, um, so why why spend your weekend here at Denver Comic Con? Like, what brought you specifically to come out to this con other than an invitation? <laughs> it was the invitation. <laughs> Fair enough. I try and go to, to all the Comic Cons that I get invited to, as long as I have the, the time. And right now we're on hiatus, which is our break between season four and five. So I love to try and do as many Comic Cons as I get uh, invited to come to, because they're really fun and it's the it's the best opportunity you have to interact with the fans and and talk with people and, and answer their questions if they have them. Because um, a lot of people are too shy to come up to you on the street and, and are very respectful of you having your own personal space. So the Comic Con is kind of like just for the fans. It's all about the fans. And where should people go for more information about you? Oh, you can go to uh, www.jessicanicole.com, which is where my website is. Um, I don't have very much stuff about uh, performing or fringe or, or acting necessarily, but I got a lot of my artwork up there and I also have a couple of comics that I've been working on and off for the last few years. One's called Close Talkers and one's called High Yellow Magic. And so um, I am nowhere near as talented as the other people that are here at this Comic Con, but it's really nice to be in this space with, with all these really amazing artists and, and sharing a singular vision to, to bring something really interesting and dynamic in a creative way on paper. So, yeah. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Did you come